Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 as AC Milan. Wanted to start today just by showing you the fixtures that went down on Saturday there. Roma drawing away at Genoa but then the massive surprise Sampdoria with 10 men managing to hold Juve to a 0-0. So that really uh, adds some importance to our match today against Lazio. Away in Roma against Lazio, a tough, tough game obviously. But if we can get a victory there, we do close that gap to Juve, who need to come to the San Siro next. Not, not that we're particularly useful at the San Siro. Who was that young man? Giacomo Olzer. He looks pretty bloody good, especially for only being 16. Anyway, so Atalanta Verona 1-1. Verona definitely picking up some, some points now. A couple of draws for them. Um, Bologna beating Sassuolo Kiev will go down 5-0 to Benevento bloody hell Fiorentina held 1-1 by Torino which is nice Inter beat Crotone and Udinese losing to Spal who are away up in 12th actually uh, so here we are we're playing Lazio now they are in inconsistent form and we are in strong form hopefully that can help us out however unfortunately um Abati is now injured. Thank God, uh, David Calabria or David Calabria is ready to come back in. Um, Storari, I guess, can go on the bench there. But pretty much, this is our squad now: Donnarumma, Misaki, Bonucci, Romagnoli, Calabria, Rodriguez, Locatelli, Kessi, Chalinoglu, Suso, and Silva. Unfortunately, today Chalinoglu needs a rest, so we're going with Bonaventura who we need rid of in January because he's moaning and whining about everything. Spurs, for some reason, are interested in him, so we're going to let them bid and see what happens. Lazio set up really rigidly defensively, actually. We have already played them. Actually, I seem to remember Dusan Basta absolutely ripping us to pieces. Did we play them? I feel like we did. Let's, let's check. Ah, oh, no, I don't think we did. Uh, let's have a look just to make sure. No, we didn't. I'm thinking of... Um, I faced him as Celtic in, in my... Uh, in my Celtic game. Uh, I faced them. Uh, and their fullbacks absolutely destroyed me, actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to tell them to get creative. Why not? Horrible attendance today. Lots of empty seats out there. I would probably take a point here. Oh god, Suso goes down with injury now. Well, there goes Chalinoglu's rest. You've got 10 minutes of a rest, buddy. Enjoy it. Chalinoglu taking the free kick now. Angled in. Locatelli cushions it. It's off the bar, but it's turned in by Matteo Musacchio. His first Milan goal. And it's, a, it's an important one, 1-0 one up away at Lazio, which would be a huge result if we could hold on to this one. Uh, as Ro Magnoli taking a free kick for us now, let's just show you what that means, the league table. We would be four points off Juve, and we'd be facing them next at, uh, at San Siro. Kessie now playing it to Rodriguez. Holds it up, plays it back into Kessie. Bonaventura now, Chalinoglu, can he squeeze the ball through to the Silva? No, but... Oh, eventually we try and get it through but De Vrij nicks it Lulic playing it forward now Nani coming forward plays it in behind for Kuma Babakar onside one on one and he's put it wide that is surprising but it's a warning shot there from Lazio who failed to hit the target with all four of their shots today we actually have a five out of six uh, record on those shots which is pretty good but La uh, Nani now picking it up drives into the box out wide angles it in it's coming through for Lulic it's blocked it's Bastan and it's a good save by Donnarumma it doesn't look like this lead's going to hold if we don't shape up Calabria now with the throw to Locatelli back to Bonaventura terrible pass from him to Kessie he slips it to Andre Silva back to Kessie and it's in Frank Kessie the 1-2 with Andre Silva and then the finish for 2-0 Magnificent. Let's tell them that. Let's praise them. Beautiful stuff. 2 nothing up here. And a really, really tough venue. 
a game I was worried about. It seems the games that I'm really worried about, we seem to go out, <clears throat> pardon me, and assert ourselves. Calabria to Locatelli now. You can find Front Kessie, who's still not been picked up. Thunders a shot off the face of De Vrij. Maurizio will pick this up, though. Counter is on for Lazio. Don't dive in, Rodriguez. Don't get sent off. And don't know if we can pluck that out there. Certainly an exciting half. Three added minutes have passed and we're going in 2 nothing up. I have to say, absolutely delighted with that one. Let us assertively tell them, essentially, don't uh, be careless. Misaki loses some confidence. Let's tell Misaki I'm very happy with him. Eh, nothing specific noted. At least it cancelled out him seeming to lose confidence, which is obviously a bad thing. We'll tell him to concentrate as they go out for the second half. And we will also look to ensure that Latsu are playing with the same formation, which they are. Over the top for Andre Silva, De Vrij just gets there first. Rodriguez with the throw. Andre Silva looking to find space to hit one. He does find space to hit one, but he's absolutely scuffed that one wide of the mark. 50 minutes gone. Milan 2, Lazio 0. Calabria clearing it will be picked up by Wallace now Lazio can build from the back Wallace put under a little bit of pressure but he easily moves it forward to Thomas Partey out wide to Lulic now into Nani skips past one challenge plays it in for Kuma Babakar who's taken out the game and it's a pen can Donnarumma bail us out just after the hour mark it's Afro against Afro here. As the generic hairs collide. Parolo denied by Donnarumma. Beautiful. Chiro Immobile coming on now for Kuma Babakar. 70 minutes gone. Lots of our guys are in the book. Let's make a substitution here uh, Bilia can come on for Locatelli I guess and Rodriguez can come off for Antonelli let's do that 15 minutes to go 2 nothing still to score it's been a great performance from us here Hakan Chalanoglu to deliver the corner can we make it 3? no he can't even beat Parolo launches it to Lulic who is completely surrounded but manages to hold it up well. It's out to Basta now. Slips it forward to Lucas. Onto Parolo. Plays in Immobile, who hits it. It's a good save, actually, by Donnarumma again. He's been pretty damn good today. I did say in past episodes I felt FM18 was pretty cruel on goalkeepers, but he's looked pretty good today. 10 seconds remaining now before we secure another magnificent victory on the road Andre Silva flicks it on it's going to be easy for Strakosha to pick it up but he pretty much should launch it and that will be time he doesn't even get to launch it it is time 2-0 victory over Lazio brilliant result absolutely delighted with that passionately fantastic boys let's see what that means for the For the league table. Suso injured for three to four weeks, which is not great. And Napoli beat Calgary. So looking at the table after 13 games, we are second, four behind Juventus, one clear of Bologna, two clear of Fiorentina, three ahead of Atalanta, five ahead of Udinese and Inter. Where the hell did Inter come from? Bloody hell, they must have shot up the table. Five ahead of Napoli as well. And a massive eight ahead of Lazio. Roma, nine points back. Uh, they've obviously got off to such a horrendous start that they, they have no chance of catching up, I don't think. Raja Nangol and Kevin Strootman um, could possibly be lured away from the club, I would imagine, by look, looking at where they are just now. Uh, Lorenzo Pellegrini 
a good young player as well that might possibly fancy leaving the club. Let's get a report on him as well as the other Pellegrini. Who's that there? Sidhu Dunbia. Uh, yeah, where is the other? There he is, young Luca Pellegrini, left back. Let's get a report on him as well. He was outstanding uh, in Football Manager 2017. Whether that still holds, I don't know. But we are on to facing Krasnodar now. And then, obviously, the big one, the start of next episode. Abati wants to move on. He's achieved everything he can at the club. Hmm. Yeah, the level of experience you provide is hard to come by. I can't let you leave. That's pretty decent. Yeah, we can actually offer him to be a player coach. Let's try that, see what he says. Appreciate the offer. Sounds too much like accepting my playing career is over. Mm. There isn't even anyone interested in you, don't know why we're discussing it. Let's go with that. That's a fair point. Thank God, man. Last thing I need is to lose him and have to go and recruit a right back as well. I think there's already a couple of things we need. Obviously we have Barzali coming in, which would be which will be an excellent addition to that back line. His experience back there, obviously. Donnarumma, the player of the week. Nice, nice. Definitely deserving. I mean, that was a brilliant performance. Obviously the penalty save at 2-0, a big one. They score that at the 60-minute mark, and I fancy we'd probably crumble. Yeah, Roma's manager is, is under pressure, apparently. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely, you should be. <clears throat> All right. It's just about Krasnodar time. We absolutely wrecked them at San when we go to Russia. We're already qualified, so definitely a rotational side we're going to be playing give uh, young Zanilato a chance to impress again as he did uh, the last time he got a start in the Europa League hopefully he can play some of those games it's actually hard in a sense to bring in some youth players in the Italian League it's very it's very competitive actually there's no easy games where you can just toss in a youth player and expect him to do well it's a new contract there for Suso you might have caught that five year deal so he's definitely part of the plan going forward uh, obviously not right now since he's injured but uh, Chalinoglu can come on I guess uh, Abate can come on the bench for Montolivo who's injured Suso uh, out for Zanilato Zanilato will now come on for Locatelli Kalinic can start rather than Silva or Cotroni for that matter uh, Suso obviously out Montelivo I guess can take his spot oh no wait a minute because this is the Europa League we don't get all these spots uh, Locatelli can come out for Cotroni looks a good bench to me although Paletta can actually play instead of Bonucci I suppose give the big man a rest so Donnarumma Musac and Flint we'll go with Antonio Donnarumma why not so Donnarumma, Musacchio, Paletta, Romagnoli, Calabria, Rodriguez, Zanilato, Kessie, Bonaventura, Chilinoglu and Kalinic. Ch no, Bilia instead of Frank Kessie. I want Frank Kessie to be fresh for the UV game. So that's why we're starting Lucas Bilia today. Assertively, I expect nothing but a win. Uh, yep, and let's just go back to randomly, uh, randomly, genetically encouraging them. <sighs> I'll look at the league table, actually, are we guaranteed top spot? Yeah, if we at least draw with Krasnodar today, we are guaranteed top spot in the group. Krasnodar, who are playing with two injured players, 
And that's chilling old blue floats this one in. Paletta rises, heads it down to Bulia, who drags it wide. He's not a finisher, apparently. It's happened a couple of times now where a corner's been knocked down to him and he's just completely missed the mark. Ramirez now eight minutes gone. It's clearly some action in this one. Zanilato nicks it back. Oh, but it's intercepted. Kabori forward to Ivan. Out wide to Pavel Mamiev. Who has an overlap. Doesn't use it. Rodriguez can pinch it. Hit it forward to Kalinic now. Holds it up. Bit of support arriving. He goes for a tricky pass for David Calabria. What a ball that is. Calabria has to try and go himself here. Forced wide. And it's a good save by the keeper onto the post. I think he should have tried to drag that one across the keeper there actually rather than going near post but the game settled down a bit clearly Chalinoglu delivering this one and it goes deep Zanilato nods it down and it's skied clear Mamiev's chasing this he may be no the defender will get there first Calabria not a, not a good touch though and then he waits an absolute eternity for Mamiev to steal it from him. Mamiev now being down on Donnarumma, but it's an easy save. So 40 minutes gone, just approaching the break. Yeah, pretty, pretty dull half. I passionately see if we can get a goal, we'll win... Uh, MD we want to bring in I'll give Catroni a shot why not I don't really care about winning this game I'm more interested in just making sure nobody gets injured or anything Rodriguez has taken a knock great let's get him off immediately Antonelli coming on Ramirez with the throw. I don't want to lose this one. A draw I wouldn't really care about, but a, a loss would hurt. As Bilia nicks it for us here, plays it to Bonaventura, takes it down. Ball to Chalanoglu, really should have been hit harder. Chalanoglu can square this. Zanilato decides to shoot. He really should have took the ball on a stride there. I guess that's the, the eagerness of youth for him to just smash that one there, going for a wondrous goal. Look at the stadium. Look how packed this is. You have to give them credit for that when we're playing in front of six guys in a dug every week well an hour gone not much for the magnificent crowd here to see oh we were going to make a change there it was a bit weird I don't know if you guys spotted that pop up that came up there hopefully not uh, Antonelli forward to Catrone now can he hold this ball up oh Bonaventura arriving can he score Spurs will be watching nope ladies and gentlemen that's the guy who's bitching about getting a first team start that's caught by the goalkeeper really not much to see here pretty poor game Let's use our final substitution, I guess. Um, let's throw a batty in there. Why not? Ten minutes to go, nothing each. I'd like to nick it, but I don't really care. Chalanoglu swinging the ball deep. Come on, Cotroni, get it. Zanilato, smash it. Smash it, somebody. Romagnoli, there you go. Zanilato with the assist, Romagnoli smashes at home, let's go to the contain mentality, make sure we get out here with the win. There'll be five wins out of five in the in the group stage ahead of Nisi's uh, visit to the San Siro. Speaking of visits to the San Siro, it will be Juventus who make the trip in the first match of the next episode, but we've got a bit of defending to do here actually to make sure we preserve the win. Nusakio does that defending and we get the 1-0 two solid away victories both with clean sheets I really couldn't have asked for much more 
to set us up for Juventus's visit. But you know what they say, sometimes it's the hope that kills you. Okay, so next time we have Juventus and then Spal Juventus. Is that a Sunday? It is Sunday, Sunday, okay. Juventus and then Spal. Uh, so that'll be the next episode. Good episode actually here to set that up. Last time, we did okay last time actually. Uh, this episode then we've done pretty well. So not bad actually in our last one, two, three, four, five, in our last six games we've only conceded one goal. If you take that back to our last eight games, it's only two goals. So not bad. Juventus actually, if you take a look at their schedule, they've stuttered recently, I believe. Uh, yeah, they got a nil-nil against uh, Sampdoria, but they haven't conceded any in their last four. Although they did ship three away at Verona. So a little bit of hope for us uh, for the next episode. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have enjoyed the episode, please drop down below and leave a like. It does help the channel more than you realise. Um, if you'd like to follow the, the series, you can of course subscribe to the channel, which would be greatly appreciated. Uh, but overall, just thank you for watching the episode, and I'll see you next time when we've got that big Juventus game.